good afternoon everyone. This is Adelia with Direct Cannabis Network and today on DCN Talks we are sitting down with Eric Gomez, the CEO and founding partner of Canopy San Diego. How are you doing today Eric? Very well, thank you. Thank you for joining us. If you could please tell our viewers a little bit more about your background and what is Canopy San Diego? So Canopy San Diego is an accelerator for cannabis ancillary products and services. And the idea came about because I was um, looking at investments a couple of years ago and decided that cannabis was an obvious industry to take a look at. So it turns out I had to go to Colorado to find investments. Uh, these are seed stage investments. And I met a couple of uh, great companies, found out they both went through the Canopy Boulder Accelerator in Boulder. Met those guys, said, hey, we could really use uh, one of these in Southern California. They said, we haven't done that yet. So I said, okay, let's partner and let's do it together. So that's, that's how it came about. And for those that may not know what an accelerator is, can you go into a little bit more detail about that and then what the difference is in your process and a regular accelerator, if there is one? Sure. Uh, that's a great question because the term accelerator does get thrown around a bit and it's important to look at the details. Uh, so our accelerator is a, is a fixed term. In this case, it's a 16-week program. Uh, it's cohort-based, so we'll have 10 companies every six months uh, forming a cohort. And then we um, give the company seed capital. In exchange, we take a portion of equity. And then we put them through a very uh, intense mentor-driven, uh, basically a college for companies, if you will, during those 16 weeks. And the idea is that they, they graduate with a refined business model um, and the ability to then go out and raise more money from now the next level of investors uh, that's ready to pitch in and, and add their value to the companies that they invest in. So almost giving them that solid foundation to really be presentable. Absolutely, okay. absolutely. You know, we will be successful if our companies graduate and are able to raise money mm -hmm. from other, you know, angel investors, seed stage, you know, venture funds and things like this. Um, that's, if we, haven't, if we don't do that, we haven't done our job. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, when, so when you say ancillary, is there a specific type of businesses that are in that, that, you, that fit that, that spe specification? Absolutely, and it, it, it is broad, and um, that's actually one of the reasons we're here, because there are so many opportunities in cannabis. Mm -hmm. So when we say ancillary, we, we, we mean that we don't touch the plant. So we don't grow, we don't sell, uh, distribute, test. These are, these, these are touching the plant companies. Um, they have a lot of regulations around their business, and the basic business infrastructure needs are very difficult to be met simply because banks won't bank them, which means large companies won't deal with them. So we're in the business of creating all that business infrastructure. So payment processing systems, back office systems, internet social media platforms, marketing platforms, um, uh, health and education platforms, uh, grow tech, every, everything that kind of uh, supports the cannabis industry is what we're looking to develop. So what is the process for these startups to apply to Canopy San Diego? They can go to our website, canopysd.com, and if, they, if they're still sort of fleshing out the idea, they can sign up for office hours, which means they come in, they meet the partners and a couple of other analysts that we have helping us out, and just discuss their ideas and, and where they are, and we can help refine them. If they're already ready for the application, they can go straight to the application, which is on Angel's List. Um, so they have to create a profile there and go through that process. And then this month, we'll be doing all the reviewing of the applications. Um, you know, narrow it down to our to to a smaller group, mm -hmm. and then bring them in for another round of interviews, um, and make sure they're ready to go. You know, come come September, mm -hmm. September October is when we plan on, on having them come in. Okay, so September October. Um, what would you say? Do you expect these companies to do prior to even applying to a, a accelerator? The the main task is really to prepare. Um, research is absolutely you know, fundamental, especially in this industry. Mm -hmm. This industry changes daily yeah. and it's hard to come around, uh, it's hard to find the information um, that other industries have just you know, based on having decades of research done in the industry. So the companies really need to prepare, do their research, understand their market. Um, obviously they have to have a problem, uh, um, a solution to a real problem. And then the founding team needs to be solid. So you need a passionate leader, you need technical expertise, you need market expertise. Um, you know, those are fundamental um, uh, aspects of a founding team. And outside of the other founding partners of, the, of Canopy San Diego, what do you specifically look for 
Um, or what are you going to be looking for for the first class? Sure. Uh, so we're looking for a well-rounded class mm -hmm. that solves real problems. Um, I've always been a, a market investor, so it's, it's understanding the size of the opportunity and where that solution fits into the size of the opportunity. Um, a lot of, there are a lot of great ideas out there that will make great companies, but they won't make great companies for investors to invest in and then expect to take to the next level and then actually have an exit strategy. So we really look for the, we look ahead. Um, so a company has to be able to follow a, a path to exit. Um, not everyone's going to get there, we understand that, but we want to pick the ones who are, who are best primed to do that. Okay. And do you have any tips or advice for those that are looking to maybe pitch to investors um, or even find investors? Uh, network. You have to network. Uh, it is absolutely important and this is one of the main functions of our, of our accelerators to create a community that helps support these companies. So, um, you know, once the companies are selected by us, they get access to that network. But prior to that, obviously, they have to build their own yes. um, and, and get their, answer, their questions answered before they come to us. With um, Canopy, I know you mentioned a lot of it is with the mentorship. Um, are you going to have an a array of talent, of talent for the variety of companies you guys are looking for um, that could offer more expertise specific to these companies? Absolutely. Um, companies are coming in are going to need a lot of things. Okay. One of them is going to be business expertise. So whether it's developing a marketing plan, developing a financial model, understanding how to build a sales team, go to market strategy, how to you know develop a, a, a cost basis, these are all basic business elements, and we'll have the the um, mentors there to answer some of those questions for them: legal, accounting, the whole thing. Yeah. And then they're going to need to be connected to the cannabis world. So this is where we have cannabis experts, uh, people who have been in the industry for decades. People are doing it the right way. Um, and then additionally, we'll have um, a, a select group of, of entrepreneurs who, who've succeeded, who understand the rigors of chasing your dream and, and the stresses involved and how to run a, a small company, uh, which is absolutely um, something I think a lot of entrepreneurs overlook how challenging that can be. So companies that are looking to apply to Canopy San Diego, do they have to be in Southern California? They do not, okay. um, and, and in fact, a lot of companies are going to come from outside of California because they are in markets <clears throat> where they don't have resources. They don't have mentors, they don't have laws supporting them. Um, so, for example, the south of the, of the country, you know, there is a, we're fortunate to have been the first state to legalize medical marijuana in 96, so we have a community around us and we have support from the local, um, from the local business community. So a lot of companies are probably going to come from out of state. We'd like to attract some companies from Mexico. Um, I'm not sure if we can really attract them from uh, uh, other parts of the world, yes. but certainly that's one of the benefits of being in San Diego is having that connection to, to Mexico uh, through the border. And going into the, the funding or the investing side of it, um, how would that process work for these, these startups? So we have a three-tiered investment uh, strategy. So the first tier, each company that comes through that we select uh, gets seed capital. And then as they progress through the program, um, we, we will reward those who execute the best. Uh, those who leverage the mentor uh, program, leverage the network, talk to investors, uh, work well with the other teams and develop their, their solution. And so that will be another uh, tranche of investment that we'll give to the top 30% of our companies. Um, and then at the very end, we'll have a, another fund a reserve that we'll give to the one or two of the best companies out of, out of all 40. Yeah. So that's really um, uh, a way to just increase our, our potential returns based on understanding and seeing these companies develop for a year yeah. and working with them day to day. And so we'll have, that'll be our third level of investment. And are you able to share a little bit about what is the, what is the uh, exchange in the beginning for these startups. Um, I know you said the the initial funding, but what in, what is expected in return? From so we offer twenty thousand dollars to the companies coming in, okay. and that's really to get them to focus for the sixteen weeks to leave the the, the other jobs aside yes. uh, to move to San Diego if they are coming from out of state or out of the out of the um, region, um, and then we take between five to ten percent equity in those companies um, as we give them more funding opportunities later on, um, the, the, the mechanics will be a little bit different, most likely convertible note. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, certainly under terms which are favorable for everybody, what we really want to do is make the company 
very attractive to the next investor, the next level of funding that's gonna to come to them. With this whole process, uh, just listening about it and you explaining it to me, I definitely see the growth and the the connection that you're building with, you will be building with these startups and how it will allow for a lot of these um, those that have invested into Canopy or the investors you guys work with to trust those companies. I feel like there is a lot of um, issues right now just because the industry is a little bit of a gray area. And so I've, is, do you feel that you are giving these, those investors interested in funding cannab uh, cannabis companies a better platform? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, first of all, being ancillary is a lot less risky. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the, the quote we use is the Mark Twain quote, well, we're in, in the gold rush, it's good to be in the picks and shovels business. Sure. Um, so we're providing the picks and shovels to the gold rush guys, you know, to the actual cultivators and dispensaries. Um, so it's a, it's a much safer investment um, for seed stage investment investors. Uh, also, we can attract investors from out of state. We don't have the in-state rules that a, a, a touching the plant company would have. Um, and then secondly, we're investing in tech companies. We're investing in companies that have um, value no matter what industry they would be in. Um, and they're highly scalable. Um, again, there are no border limitations based on the fact that they're not touching the plant. Uh, so really, we're looking for companies that are able to exit within you know, between three and 10 years, let's call it. Um, so that's, that's our investment strategy. And before we let you go, what is the best piece of advice that you would like to share with, um, with those interested in joining or being a part of the cannabis industry? Uh, I would say read a lot. You, you have to, it's one of the most difficult things is to devote enough time to research in this industry. Um, there's a lot of information out there, um, but a lot of it's hard to trust and it changes every day. So you really do need to keep up and you need to utilize your network and you need to read from any source you can to really understand what's going on in the industry. Well, that is some great food for thought for those watching. Uh, and for those looking to find out more about Canopy San Diego or contact Eric, you can go to www.canopysd.com. That's right. Okay, or you can click on the information below and you'll be able to find a direct link there as well. Thank you for joining us today. This is Adalia Carrillo with DCN. Let's think higher.